so hello everyone in this video we will understand a very popular dsa pattern called sliding window so let us understand with the help of one problem which is named as maximum sub array sum of k elements in this case the k value is 3 so we need to find a sub array of size 3 uh, which has the maximum sum so what sliding window says is that maintain a fixed size window of size k in this case k is 3 so we will maintain a window of length 3 and then we will compute the sum inside that particular window in this case the sum will be 2 plus 5 plus 1 that is 8 side by side we will also update our answer to get the maximum sum now we need to move our window one step ahead to move the window one step ahead we will remove this one element and we will include this next element that is 1 so our new window would look something like this 2 5 and 1 we will again compute the sum so sum of 2 5 and 1 is nothing but 8 so we will update our sum by 8 and since our answer and sum is equal so we don't need to update our maximum answer since both are equal now we will again move our window one step ahead so we will remove this element 2 and we will include this element 3 so our new window would look something like this 5 1 and 3 so 5 1 and 3 is our new window so what is the sum inside the window sum inside the window is 5 plus 1 plus 3 that is 9 so we will update our sum by 9 and since 9 is greater than our maximum answer till now that is 8 so we will update our answer that is maximum sum by 9 again we will move one step ahead with our window so to move the one step ahead we will remove this last element that is 5 and we will include this element 2 to our window now our new window would look something like this which will consist of elements 1 3 and 2 so sum of 1 3 and 2 is 6 so we will update our sum by 6 and since 6 is lesser than our maximum sum so our sum will remain as it is now we don't have any element towards the right so this is the end of our array so final answer that we got for the maximum sub array of k elements is 9 so this is how we solve this problem with the help of sliding window and since we are iterating every element at most once the time complexity becomes big o of n so this is how sliding window works so i hope you enjoyed this video subscribe for more videos thank you